In this presentation of the Database Fundamentals series, we'll look at how a many-to-many -many relationship is implemented in the database. You should already know about binary one-to-many relationships and how those are built in the database, unary one-to-many and binary one-to-one. -one. In a many-to-many -many relationship, like the one we have between repair order and inventory, neither side gets the foreign key. In fact, you cannot build a many-to-many -many relationship in the database itself. You can have it in the model, but not in the database. So you will have to decompose a many-to-many -many relationship into at least two one-to-many relationships. So when I see repair order an inventory in a many-to-many -many relationship, I know there's going to be something else added between the two. You add an associative entity that links the two original entities. Now the associative entity may also be referred to as a conjunction or intersection entity. In our example, we would add repair detail between the two that were in a many-to-many -many relationship. We now have a one-to-many from inventory to repair detail, and we have a one-to-many from repair order to repair detail. So a many-to-many -many relationship is appropriate in a logical data model. In a physical data model that serves as the blueprint for the construction of a database, all many-to-many -many relationships should be decomposed into their one-to-many relationships. So given this example as a logical model, I can look at that and having built databases, I would know that there would be at least one other entity added and so we would build three tables and not two as, would, as you see just for the two entities in the logical model. So for the auto repair shop example, you would build the repair details table. This table is going to have a foreign key from repair order. It's also going to have a foreign key from inventory. A table can have many foreign keys or it can have none. It simply depends on that table's relationship with other tables in the database. So you've seen here how you implement a many-to-many -many relationship by decomposing it and adding an associative entity or what becomes another table in the database.